Hi, I'm Garvin. This telecast is on eltroxin. Eltroxin, or levothyroxine, is used to treat an underactive thyroid, which is known as hypothyroidism. Low thyroid hormone levels can occur naturally or when the thyroid gland is injured by radiation or medications or removed by surgery. Having enough thyroid hormone is important for maintaining normal mental and physical activity. In children, having enough thyroid hormones is important for normal mental and physical development. So the tablets contain a 100 microgram, a 50 microgram or a 25 microgram of levothyroxine. For adults, initially take a 100 microgram daily preferably taken before breakfast or the first meal of the day. Adjust at three to four week intervals by 50 microgram until normal metabolism is steadily maintained. The final daily dose may be up to 200 micrograms a day. For patients over 50 years of age, initially it is not advisable to exceed 50 microgram a day. In this condition, the daily dose may be increased by 50 micrograms at intervals of every three to four weeks until stable thyroxine levels are attained. The final daily dose may be up to 50 to 200 micrograms. <clears throat> For patients over 50 years with cardiac disease, 25 microgram daily or 50 microgram on alternate days is more suitable. In younger patients, an ECG should be done before therapy. A serum levothyroxine level of 70 to 160 nanomoles per litre or a serum tyrotryptophan level of less than 5 milliunits per litre should be targeted. Infants should be given the total daily dose at least half an hour before the first meal of the day. The dose for children depends on their age, weight and the condition being treated. For neonates and infants with congenital hypothyroidism, where rapid replacement is important, the initial recommended dosage of 10 to 15 micrograms per kilogram body weight per day for the first three months. Thereafter, the dose should be adjusted individually according to the clinical findings. For children with acquired hypothyroidism, the initial recommended dosage is 12.5 to 50 micrograms per day. The dose should be increased gradually every two to four weeks according to clinical findings. For juvenile myoexedema in children, the initial recommended dosage is 25 micrograms a day. In such conditions, the daily dose may be increased by 25 micrograms at intervals of every two to four weeks until only mild symptoms of hypothyroidism is seen. In children under five years of age, the administration of whole tablets is not recommended. It is not recommended that tablets are crushed and dispersed in water or other liquids. Possible side effects include flushing, diarrhea, restlessness or insomnia. Tell your doctor or pharmacist if you have any heart issues, including increased blood pressure. Parents of children receiving thyroid agent should be advised that partial loss of hair may occur during the first few months of therapy, but this effect is usually transient and subsequent regrowth usually occurs. Levothyroxine increases the effects of anticoagulants such as warfarin and it may be necessary to reduce the anticoagulation dosage if excessive. There may be an interaction between certain medications and this drug. Tell your doctor or pharmacist if you are taking anti-diabetic drugs, tricyclic antidepressants or beta blockers, amiodarone and anti-obesity drugs. The safety of levothyroxine treatment during pregnancy is not known, but any possible risk should be weighed against the risk to the fetus if left untreated. Your doctor will discuss this with you. Levothyroxine is excreted in breast milk in low concentrations, but is not harmful. This drug does not have any effect on the ability to drive and use machines. So if you have any other questions, you can contact me through the live pharmacist on the website. You can email me or call into Lynch's Pharmacy in Cork. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.